Holiday toys. You can dust off some of your old toys because they could be actually hiding a fortune. That's right. The Toy Scout <laughs> is in town. He says Disney Vintage could make you some serious cash. David Martin joining us live with more on that. Hi, David. Amy, pay attention. We're going to test your knowledge in a second, but let me introduce you to Joel McGee, who is America's Toy Scout. Joel, good morning to you. Thanks for having me. So you are a bona fide TV star now. What show? Pawn Stars, and the new season starts January 14th. You're known as the toy expert, especially the, the Disney vintage Disney. toy expert. Yep, yeah. yep. I take care of all the Disney stuff for Rick right. and the guys. Very good. All this week, you got people coming to your hotel. Uh, here, we're, this morning, we are at the Courtyard Orlando Altamont Springs slash Marriott. Uh, slash Maitland rather so this is on Pembroke Drive so if you're watching us and you've got toys come on down to the Courtyard Marriott in Maitland slash Altamont Springs to meet Joel he will pay you cash for your toys now uh, this is interesting because you have some toys on the table here what that yeah. Mars rover dude what's this one that is Major Matt Mason and he was actually an astronaut from the 60s that was actually my toy that I played with when I was a kid can you imagine that so <laughs> let's ask Amy and Ryan what do you think that what year would that be roughly 1967 all right, yeah. Ryan and Amy, what is the value of that 1967 toy? Ooh, I gotta tell you, I, I think 250 all day long. I'm thinking 310. 250 and 310 are on the table. What say you? 140. Oh, okay, you're high. Oh. So 140. <laughs> you're high in price. You're not high. Yeah. All right. We so how about yeah. this thing? What is this? Now that one's really cool. How many times have you ever seen an astronaut driving a Volkswagen? Not very often. What year would that be from? Okay, this one's actually from the early 1960s, and I think the value will surprise you on this one. Let's see what they think. Ryan and Amy, the stage is yours. Mm. Well, you go first this time. All right, early 60s. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 350. Yeah, I think it's worth 300. 350 from Amy and 300, 300, 350, 500 dollars. Wow, on that. Nice. very cool. I like it's, it's in good shape too. Yeah, it's in really nice. Shape. All right, so this is what he'll do. He'll assess your toys. He'll appraise them and he'll give you cash on the spot. And he's looking specifically for Disney stuff this year. That's pretty new. Let's take a look at this hat right here. This is what. That's actually one of the first hats used by the monorail captains on the monorail back in 1971 at Disney World. All right, Ryan and Amy, a 1971 actual monorail hat. What's the value? I remember when they $700. wore those. $700. Yeah. Uh, gosh, that's got to be worth, uh, I'm going $400. You think so? Yeah, uh, a little history. First okay. year Disney opened. I'm going to go 500 David. 400 and 500. What is the price, my friend? $700. Wow. 700 buckaroos. So if you have one of these at home, people, he will pay you 700 bills right here at the hotel. Once again, it is the Courtyard Marriott on Pembroke Drive in Altamont Springs and Maitland. Thank you, my friend. By the way, the website for all the information is toyscout.com. Toy and he'll be here tomorrow at a different address in Claremont. I think you're in Claremont tomorrow and one more on Thursday. So check him out. Okay, Simi, very good. All right, back to you all. Studio. That is awesome. Right. Fun stuff. Do you remember they used to wear those helmets and you could ride in the front with the monorail? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that was 